Hello everyone, Dr. Susan Brown, Director of the Center for Better Bones. Today we're going to talk about Qigong. Qigong is a very fascinating ancient exercise practice from Asia. Most specifically, the original Qigong, I believe, came from China. And in Qigong and the Chinese, these ancient cultures, they understood long before we could even read and write, they understood about the principles of energy. That the whole universe, everything we see manifest in the world is a field of energy. Some energy is moving really fast, some energy is moving slow, and that there is a cosmic life force energy that flows through all of existence. What these ancient cultures realized is we can capture more of that life force, nurture that life force energy through our breathing exercises, through our movement exercise. And it's, of course, these ancient cultures that developed the concept of meridians, these energy channels that flow through the body that connect all parts of the body. And keeping those energy channels in, chan, channels in balance is a really important thing for our health. So Qigong was originally developed partly as a martial art, partly as a fitness exercise to promote health. In this culture, we have many different schools of Qigong. I've had the privilege of studying with a few wonderful Qigong teachers. One of them was Nan Lu. You'll see right here Nan Lu, who is in New York City. He's Chinese, and he actually developed many practical Qigong exercises to help with issues like breast cancer. He had a teacher, his master, could actually see the energy in a person's body. And so he actually came to the U.S., looked at women with breast cancer, and discovered the meridians where the channels were blocked and developed a whole series of exercises to help prevent and to reduce any recurrence of breast cancer. They've also, Dr. Liu has also written books on uh, menopause, very excellent exercises that help reduce the symptoms of menopause. All this based on understanding how energy flows through the body. And then, of course, there was Il Chi Li. Now, Il Chi Li is a Korean fellow, and he does Korean Qigong. He brought that to this country. And Il Chi Li is the gentleman who founded the retreat house where we give our retreats in Sedona. He's written many, many books, including this wonderful book on meridian exercises. And again, this is using a Qigong from Korea, some simple modifications to actually enhance health, looking at every different health problem. And of course, one of my favorite Chi Kung's teachers is Deborah Davis. I actually got to study with Deborah a little. She's an acupuncturist who for decades has studied Chi Kung with a very refined master. But she's exceptional in that she asked that master, what Chi Kung, what can we do for women as they age? Most Chi Kung was developed uh, men thinking about men. So she has some wonderful exercises for building strength for women. And a lot of those exercises center around building the energy of the kidney system. The kidney in these ancient cultures is a repository for life force energy. And when we deplete that energy, either through lack of sleep or lack of exercise or just lifelong exhaustion, we actually lose all our energy and, and move on to the spirit world. Deborah Davis is a good friend of mine and she's going to do an interview for us in the next few months and you'll see what it's like firsthand of her understanding of this refined science of Qigong. A science that will build health, build energy, and increase overall well-being. But today we have the great fortune on Exercise Evolution to have a local Syracuse Qigong teacher. This is Katrin Nelman, who is going to show you various Qigong exercises that she teaches here locally, and simple ones that you can do. She's going to take you through these exercises. I personally love Qigong. I love the concept of deep breathing. We bring energy into the Tantian. We bring, whether you call it prana or you call it chi or we just call it energy, you bring that into the core of your body. You can move that throughout your body. And you know that the ancient Chinese actually focused on these deep breathing exercises with very slow movement to actually build bone, and they would have people breathing deeply into the bone. I think I mentioned these bone breathing exercises to you before. All of it is very fascinating. All of it's very ancient and time-tested. So I hope you enjoy Katrin, and we'll talk to you later.